Hey, I just want to do a quick review um, on, uh, this will be one or two minutes, on different software for editing videos. Now, there's a, you have a wide range of things that you can look at. You've got your bottom end software, the free stuff that you can get from Microsoft, which honestly I use a lot to do some, some rough editing before I load it up into, into a more advanced kind of editing software suite. So I definitely recommend the, the, the free downloads you can get from Microsoft for their simple desktop video editing application. But if you want to get more advanced, and I think you should when you're looking at it, uh, editing for YouTube content, look, the competition out there is fierce, and you've got people sending out to be professionally edited in the Philippines for pennies on the dollar because labor is cheap out there. I refuse to do that. Um, but those, that's the fact. That, that's your competition. You're going to be, you're going to be up against people who are editing their, their content professionally using offshore help. Now, you can go a couple of different ways. You can go high-end, which is the Adobe suite. Um, Adobe Premiere Pro, I think, is one. I used to use Adobe After Effects, and those were great. The problem is they are super, super complicated. They are definitely for the higher-end professional, the person who does nothing but edit, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day every day. It's their job. I was only using maybe 1% of the functionality. And, which is fine, you know, I would have been happy to continue using it, except that you have to you, you have to license it on a regular basis. So I think I was paying like, I don't know, 200 something dollars a year, every year, just to use that software. Okay, that might be good for somebody who, again, it's their job and they can write that off as a tax deduction or whatever, I can't. So it wound up being too expensive for, you know, the functions that I was actually using, which wasn't much. What I wound up going with is Cyberlink PowerDirector 13. I got their Ultra version. I got this from somebody who was selling it for fairly cheap, uh, selling it fairly cheaply on eBay. I think I paid 55 bucks for it or something, including shipping. And it comes with a C couple of CD-ROMs. You load it onto your computer. No licensing required. You buy it. You use it. No more cost. 50 bucks, I get all the functionality I want. I can take still shots and put them into things. I can do some sound editing. Um, I can do everything I need at a fundamental or basic level without having to get into the complexity that something like an Adobe suite would offer you. Now, again, if you want to get that complex, fine. Adobe's the way to go. But for somebody like me who just wants to make decent YouTube videos and who doesn't want to ship it offshore to get, to get uh, worked on um, in the Philippines, Cyberlink Power Director is definitely a good option for you. So those are the three things that I'm that I'm basically reviewing. I've tried a few other ones. Some of the free downloads that you can get um, wasn't too impressed with them. I'm not going to name them, but I did check a number of different things that I'm just not going to name here. I definitely look for somebody who's at my level. Cyberlink Power Director. That's all you need. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. This was edited with Cyberlink Power Director. Click subscribe, like my videos, please, and thanks for watching.